Um, next, we've got Sheila with us. Now, Sheila had breast cancer in 2004. She'd been advised not to take HRT. For nearly 20 years, she's suffered from menopausal symptoms. Believes they're getting worse for 20 years. Goodness wow. me. Sheila, what do you want to ask Hilary? Hi, Sheila. I would like to know, um, when I had breast cancer, it was revealed that I was ER negative. I've never really heard anyone say that they have been before. So all the questions that people ask about HRT don't seem to refer to me. So I was told by my doctor I would never be a candidate for HRT, but there must be something that helps all these hot flushes. Absolutely. Great question there, Sheila. Now, listen, you had oestrogen-negative breast cancer. So your cancer is less likely to recur if you were to take HRT because HRT contains oestrogen, but your cancer wasn't oestrogen-receptive. So it doesn't rule it out for you. Some doctors would disagree with me, looking at the, 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 the research from the past, but the new research says it doesn't necessarily rule it out. So you could be a candidate if your symptoms are severe enough and you say they're getting worse. Um, so it's something to consider. So that's really important. What was your other question, remind me? Just something to, um, to help, really? really? Other yeah, things, right. it was just yeah. other things Suppose, to do. yeah. The I can take, because... Yeah. And, and the, the hot flushes, I know that's what they're called, but my skin gets clammy, really clammy yes. and sweaty. Very common, very yeah. common. So if you wanted to deal with just the hot flushes and the night sweats, you could take something called clonidine, which is usually used for high blood pressure, but it controls the opening and closing of the blood vessels, which causes the sweating, the palpitations and the hot, hot sweats. So ask your doctor about clonidine. There's also two antidepressants which help with mood swings that can be associated with a bad menopause. So there are lots of alternatives to HRT, but yep. that's not necessarily ruled out in your case. Sure. Sheila, thank you so much and good luck. Thank oh, you very much indeed. We really appreciate you. Good luck with that, Sheila. That.